Um, can you explain what it was like having to watch these last three games, knowing you probably could have helped, and what it felt like to come back and contribute to a victory? I'm sure this team felt it, it needed uh, desperately. Um, yeah, I mean, the first two games, it wasn't too hard to watch. I feel like we were doing our thing, um, and we just didn't pull it out. Um, a few late stretches where we didn't, didn't close it out. Um, but for the most part, those, those games when I was watching, I didn't feel too bad. Um, the guys were playing well, playing hard, just didn't execute down the stretch. Um, that Indiana game was tough to watch, uh, but I just feel like it kind of slipped out of our hands. We let it get out of control. But um, it was good to kind of take that as a learning experience, um, kind of sit on the bench and watch. It was the first time I've been able to do that in a while. Um, and then come out here and just give it all my all today it was really, really something special. We got Todd in the back. Tyler, are you just having to condition yourself to play through pain? Is it something that you just kind of have to, 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 to go with whatever is going to feel like there and, and get out there and play? I mean, yeah, uh, every day it's been feeling better. So today was the best it's felt. And I'm just going to keep going from there. Jim. It's Steven, it's January 17th. I get it's a long ways away from the end of the season. But um, this field must win-ish in, in some ways, given what the, lo the losing streak and what's coming ahead. Oh, uh, yeah, for sure. I think there's no nights off in this conference. So I think for all of us, we felt like it was a must win and we wanted to win this. And not that we were desperate, but we kind of had to play like it because uh, we lost three in a row. So um, for us in the locker room, I, I'd say it was a must win for us. Jeff. Chucky, over to your left here. They hit a ton of big three-pointers, especially Funk, until he missed those last two. Can you walk us through what you guys were trying to get accomplished that last defensive sequence and what kind of look did you have at his shot, whether you thought it was going to go in or not? Yeah, for sure. Um, you know, all, all week we had been practicing um, switches. Uh, they were running off those, so uh, we were just practicing switches. So lay down the stretch. We just uh, stuck to our man and stopped switching and Todd. Chucky, the, uh, what did you see on the, the player? You drew the charge on Pickett there in the last minute. Didn't a slide over, it looked like. Maybe. How, how did you see that develop, and when did you know that you were kind of going to have to be forced into that? For sure. Um, you know, I was kind of surprised he, he uh, did get the charge because, you know, he's a very smart player. He plays off two feet. But, um, you know, I just saw his head was down dribbling, and I was able to go and slide, slide there and take the charge. On the camera in the back. Uh, Chucky and Steven just talking about this. Obviously, it's great to have Tyler back, but you know this stretch that you guys went through, how do you think this group was kind of battle tested and what did you guys feel like this whole team learned um, while Tyler was out? Um, I think we all had to grow a little bit individually. Um, Coach was telling us we didn't all have to grow by 50%. We all had to grow by 1% or 2%. And I think we did that. A lot of different guys had to step up and come off the bench, like uh, uh, Chris Hodges, Marcus Ilver, a couple of those guys, Isaac Lindsey, Kamari McGee, those guys, they they had to play a little more than they're used to, and I, I think that's overall good for us and uh, good for us in the long run. I agree. <laughs> right here in front. Uh, Tyler, uh, Steven had another big game for you guys tonight. Um, obviously, you said you had a chance to kind of step back and watch things when you were out. What have you seen him, kind of how have you seen him progress this season from where he started when the year began? Um, yeah. Um, there's not a whole lot I can say. I just think he's turned into a grown man. Um, he's a force in this league now, um, and I'm just really excited. He's got a few more years left here. In the back here, please. Go ahead, Tyler, Tyler, another one for you. Obviously, they don't change the starting lineup around here that frequently. Greg doesn't. Um, made a change tonight with Connor. Uh, can you address what do you thought you saw from Connor tonight, but also what do you thought you saw from Jordan Davis? Because you're talking about an older guy who loses his starting job, and sometimes that can be difficult to accept and embrace. Yeah, I mean, uh, Connor's been great. He's gr really grown over these last few games with me out. Um, he's kind of taken a bigger step. Um, and It's gotten into Big Ten play, and it's definitely gotten a little more physical. Um, and he's taken it head on. He's taken it as a challenge, um, never backs down. Um, and from Jordan, um, I just think it speaks to this team and this chemistry where we really don't care about who's getting the points, um, who's dribbling the ball. Uh, we're going to do what it takes to win. Um, and all 16 guys are on board with that. Todd in the back. Steven, how did the way you started shooting the game inside today help you kind of fuel the rest of it, get a little confidence going, and, and, and get that 
that hook with left or the right mm -hmm. to go a few times. Uh, yeah, no, it feels good, or it felt good uh, to get those couple buckets right away. Um, I know I've kind of been struggling in the first half of some games, and then kind of turned on in the second half. So I kind of want to be more aggressive in the first half. But I think that's for anyone. Um, if you see your first couple shots go down, you get more confidence, and that carries on throughout the game. Right up here, please. Really, for any of you, th those of us who cover Penn State say that Jalen Pickett sort of has an old man at the YMCA game with his back to the basket, sort of a physical um, play 22, if you don't know everybody by name. Um, what makes him unique to guard, and what makes him hard to guard? You know, it makes it hard to guard because they have shooters all around, so you can't really um, dig. And if you dig, he's going to find the shooters, and they're going to knock it down. So I give him credit for that. You know, the way he plays, you know, I love it. You know, I love um, the back down game. You know, I kind of love getting the post myself. But, you know, when you're just dribbling in the paint for, like, 10 seconds, you know, it makes it really hard to guard. So, you know, credit, credit to him for that. Um, obviously, uh, Really good college basketball game. A tough team. That's that's a team that's extremely difficult to, to guard and completely different than what we've seen thus far. And um, you know, just really proud of our guys how they've continued to persevere and stay the course, trust everything that was going on, and and find a way. Um, you know, there hasn't been a real fun the last ten days or so around here, but um, these guys have stayed with us and continue to battle, and I'm really happy that they get rewarded for their efforts and their commitment. And obviously having Tyler back helps, but uh, we got a lot of contributions across the board. And um, you know, we we're able to get stops there at the end when we needed to. Questions? Go ahead, Jeff. Greg, they, they called a timeout, I think, four set, four, four point seven left. You're up three. They got the shot off quickly. Were you, if you had the chance, were you going to try to foul up three there, or were you going to let it play out? We were trying to foul. We were going to foul if it was put on the floor. Todd in the back. Uh, Greg, like I said, the, the two charges you guys drew in the second half were some of the biggest plays down the stretch. How did you see those develop? It looked like those were obviously pretty critical plays at, at mm -hmm. the time that they happened. But uh, what did that tell you about the way you guys played? Well, today? I mean, finally we were able to, you know, a week ago I'm sitting here and we couldn't get stops against Michigan State at the end. And tonight we were able to get stops. So hopefully that shows the growth of a team and the understanding of how important you know, stringing together consecutive stops there at the end and, and two huge um, takes of the charges by Chucky. I mean, that's a, I don't want to call him a veteran. He's only in year two, but to be able to recognize that and, and uh, stand there and take that at a huge time was obviously those are game winning plays. Right here, Coach. Greg, I think you told the radio that not going to play on Saturday. Do you have any more information about that? I don't. Anymore? We don't, I mean, we, we don't think it's going to happen. Um, it's really, uh, you know, I, I I learned about it a little bit this morning, but then I just told our staff and my ops guy I wanted to focus on our game and let our administration work with the Big Ten and the office. So I think we'll know more here in the next 24 hours. But um, our focus, or mine specifically, was all about tonight and whatever happens next will happen. Jim, go ahead. Greg, I don't think I've heard you describe a game as must win much over the years, but did this feel in that category to some degree? Must win in what regard? Like if you don't get this one, then all of a sudden you're going on the road for two after a four game losing streak and. Must win in terms of I needed to be able to sleep better at night, you know? Um, the hairline is receding fast enough as it is, I, you know? But the guys needed to – our players needed this because they've been putting forth everything they have. I know it hasn't been easy without Tyler. Well, it probably wasn't going to be easy with Tyler. Um, but to see them get rewarded and the smiles in the locker room and the celebrations that, um, hey, you stay the course. Don't, don't, uh, don't have a panic attack. Um, but our staff, Joe, did a phenomenal job with the scouting report because this team is, is hard to prepare for. And coming off a of physical game Saturday, we just did a simple walkthrough on on Sunday, and fortunately able to apply a lot of our rules to preparation and not have to do a lot of physical pounding and minimize yesterday too with the possessions. Um, and you know, like I said, just find find a way in this league because you're going to go through stretches. Everybody, I mean, I look across the country, Jim, and uh, you can go coast to coast, and really good teams are stumbling. A little bit. It's hard over 30 plus games to 
to stay consistent and because uh, there's so much parity. And if you have an injury or two thrown in, we've seen that in our league. We've seen it other places. So nobody's going to feel sorry for you. So you got to learn from it. You know, don't talk. We reviewed the film at Sunday of Indiana, and then we get turned the page because so we got a good team coming in here tonight. Right in front. Coach, I'm, I'm guessing Tyler wasn't 100%, but I'm just curious if you thought the way he started the second half kind of changed the game for you guys. That, you know, he gets the loose ball, offensive rebound, the block, and then the steal and the score that kind of right. jump starts that 10 2 run. Uh, I know it was closely contested, but obviously you guys had a different second half than you did the first after that point. Yeah, we were better in the paint. I think we were 8 for 17 in the first half in the paint, which I told him it's not good enough. We got to be better than that in terms of converting. And I don't know what we were, but I assume it was better in the second half um, because we intentionally went there and, you know, he delivered, Steve delivered. Um, you know, we were able to make Connor hit some big shots when we needed it and and we were able to string together enough stops um, down the stretch. Todd. You, you knew they were going to shoot a lot of three-pointers coming in. How did you feel like you, you defense that, especially in the second half? That was, you know, obviously a pretty key point when, when they could have gotten right back in, you know, or stretched it a little bit more even at some points. Yeah, I mean, we, we never get consumed, Todd, with percentage. Our defense is built more on minimizing attempts. So a team that's shooting 30-plus threes per game to hold them to 20 attempts, um, you know, they can't make them if they can't get them off. So – uh, and, and if you make a mistake um, and get out of sorts a little bit and start chasing, we had to play a lot of things two versus two as much as possible and not rely on help, which is contrary to how you have to play most teams. Um, this is an unconventional team in our league um, with how they play. So it's a unique preparation, and, and our guys did a good job of following the plan. Chris, right up front. Coach. Coach, Steven struggled a bit on Saturday, but but really bounced back. I think it was his third 20-point game in the last six. What have you seen from him as far as progression this season? You talked a little bit at the start of the year of him kind of realizing what he was capable of. Have you seen him kind of start to find those matchups and exploit them? Yeah, I mean, he's bigger, stronger. You know, he, he's more physical in the paint, and he, he embraces the physical contact. Um, and I think he's – He's getting to a point where he's demanding the ball. We're running a lot of stuff through him there down the stretch, um, you know, trying to touch him in different situations. Um, you know, between him and Tyler, two pretty good post players to play through, and and he's like I said, he's converting at a higher rate, which is which is good to see. We got to get his free throw percentage up, um, and hopefully that'll continue to climb, and and three point percentage can go up because he's he's capable of being an even more complete player. But the post development has been a very good sign for him. Right in the middle here. Hey, Greg, right in front of you. Uh, Connor obviously getting his first collegiate start tonight. Is that something that starting lineup you'll assess game to game, or is that more of a long-term move? I mean, he earned it. I mean, I, I just felt he had earned it. Um, so I wanted to give him a chance at it and crack at it. So, um, you know, I haven't, I haven't watched Northwestern if that happens, or Maryland, I guess, is next. So. Um, some of it's defensive matchups too, but you know he's earned it, and I don't think there's anything tonight. I thought he did, for the most part, did a really good job on a tough assignment chasing around Andrew Funk. I mean, that, I've seen about all their games, and um, he's he's hard to keep up with, and they run a good, lot of great action for him. I mean, he, we told him it's like chasing a fifth-year senior version of yourself. So get ready, and you're going to have your hands full. Jeff, you, you mentioned up top that you got contributions across the board. Would you include Jordan Davis in there? Absolutely. I, yes. I, and the reason I ask is he's an old guy who gets mm -hmm. replaced by a freshman. You know what that can do. Yep. I thought he responded really well yesterday in practice. He was in a good place after I told him on Sunday I was making the change. And I thought he practiced well yesterday. He, he was in a good place mentally. And we obviously, with Max going down, we needed him tonight. And he stepped up and, and uh, did good, some good things. Okay, two more questions. Go ahead. Right on the stage. We good? Hello. Yep. All right. Greg, uh, actually two for you. Just talking about, one, how this group was kind of battle-tested through that three-game stretch uh, without Tyler, and two, a little more lighthearted, just that embrace that you had with the team after the end of the high five line. I mean, a lot of high energy, obviously, from that one. So uh, just those two questions for you. What was the first part of your question? Uh, just how this group was kind of battle tested, oh, battle -tested from a growth yeah. from a growth standpoint. Yeah, I mean that's that's part of the journey that you go through, and and a little bit bouncing back to Jim's question about I don't know if there's ever must win. You you always want to win, 
I mean, there's no one's not more important than the other because if you don't get it done, it, it sits with you a little longer, and then you don't want them to pile up. So I, I'm just happy for our guys that they got some – they saw or got their fruits of the labor that they've been putting in and, um, you know, did what they needed to do tonight against a good team. And um, what was the other part of your question? Just, uh, just the embrace you had with the guys. Oh, yeah. I mean, that's – I know what they go through. I mean, heck, I, I got a kid on the team, my own son, and I treat them all like my own sons. But – it's not it's not easy when you know they're taking shots from people on the outside and you're not good enough and you're not this you're not that um to be able to to see them rally and stick together and that's always been an important part of every team we've had here that they you stick together through thick and thin um because there's going to be some thin i can almost guarantee it you're going to go through some adversity and and you have to be better because of it that's that's where you grow as a team being uncomfortable, have it uncomfortable, having some adversity, and finding a way to fight your way through it. And when you get to the other side of it, hopefully you're better off because of it. Greg, did you do you have a sorry? Do you have an update on Max and and what exactly happened there? Yeah, I don't know exactly what happened. It happened on the other end, and I haven't seen the film. Um, he's getting some. I know he's got cut, so he's getting some stitches, and um, I haven't talked to him or seen him yet. So that'll be the next part of after I'm done here.